we go back to 2011, you're at PIMCO, you're going through this debt ceiling drama. What were the lessons from that for this right now? Lots of similarities for you? Um, yes, except that this time around, the front end of the Treasury curve is behaving differently from back then. But I think the view then is the view, the market view now for most market segments, not all, most, which is you should look through this, it's going to be resolved because ultimately the consequences of a debt default are that both parties get blamed. So at the end of the day, you will get a solution. The question is, what are the compromises that need to be made? It's interesting that the principals are meeting today. Normally, you don't put the principals in the room unless the staff got to some sort of agreement. And yet we're told that the staff haven't got to an agreement and have barely made progress, depending on who you listen to in Washington. Yeah, depending on who you listen to in Washington. That's the issue, right? <laughs> Going forward from here, Mohammed, is it a European type playbook that you need to get close to crisis before you provide a solution? Is it that down in Washington? It is that for the debt ceiling, yes. Do you see it spilling out from the at risk maturities at the moment to somewhere else in the market, or does it remain contained there? Is the broader market risk here for you? So I think the broader market risk is low, but that is what the market thinks as a whole. So if it turns out that we're wrong, there's going to be a lot of damage 